Hi everyone, Michael Cavaccini here. Today we're going to take a look at Batman, the Ultimate Guide, new edition from DK Publishing and DC. So this book just came out in this year, 2022, and the full retail price is $30 in the USA and $40 in Canada. So what's inside? You see the quote up here, I wear a mask and that mask. It's not to hide who I am but to create what I am. So in this book, it says, discover Batman's entire career, his thrilling adventures, resolute allies, and a formidable rogues gallery. Explore the creation of Batman, the key characters in Batman's world, the essential storylines, the landmark comic books, the crucial events of Batman's story, featuring a foreword by Tom King. So you can see it's a pretty substantial book. It's over 200 pages in length. It's uh, you know, quite a hefty tome. Pages are very thick as well. So here's what's inside. Here's the table of contents for those who are curious. You're going to get all of this in this book. And for those of you who like to sniff books, this one smells amazing. <laughs> so if you're into that, here's the forward by Tom King. And you have an introduction by Matthew Manning. The birth of Batman. So I'm just going to page through this and show you what's inside. So you can decide for yourself if this is something that you're looking to buy. Uh, throughout, there are these key issues, so key comic books and all the details behind it. Once in a while, the orientation shifts to suit the layout of some pages, such as this one about the bat suit. You got the bat suit variants. Utility belts. I mean, it covers literally all aspects of Batman, including the weapons, the gadgets. Of course, the bat cave. How could you not write about the bat cave? My favorite, the Batmobile. As a kid watching the 1989 movie, Batman Returns, the animated series, I mean, his vehicles were awesome, right? Of course, what would a Batman book be without the origin story? You can see a lot of work went into the way this book is laid out. Great Escapes. Bruce Wayne. Wayne Mana. Batman's always been my favorite superhero. I don't know. I guess I just like the dark elements of his character and even the Bruce Wayne, you know, real life version of. Batman, Alfred, I mean, just so many great characters. Commissioner Gordon. Not sure why, but Batman always felt like home. Gotham City Police Department. Friends and allies, including Catwoman, Bat, Batwing, Batgirl, Superman, Harley Quinn. The Justice League. So the Justice League, Justice League gets attention in here as well. Team players. Batman's love life. The Joker. So this is not just one of those books that's limited to you know Batman on TV or Batman uh, in the films. I mean, it's you know, you're really getting you know, kind of the entire Batman universe here. I mean, it's obviously very much focused on the comic books. But uh, 
Man, there is just a wealth of information. I'm trying to read this book cover to cover. That's going to take some time. But because of the way it's designed, you could just pop it open here and there and just read a little bit. I mean, this is a gigantic timeline, all of these pages. And then I do like this. They bring you through different um, periods in the history of Batman. So you have the 30s and 40s, which they're calling the Golden Age. Look at that. Big, beautiful, and colorful. The Dynamic Duo. Batman issue number one. Batman and the Joker. That's a, a rivalry that will persist uh, until the end of time. One of the greats. Batman number 16. The Silver Age, the 50s and 60s. Batman found new fame in the Silver Age of comics, but the popularity may have cost him his edge. Yeah, lots of fans prefer the dark the, the dark version of the Dark Knight, while others uh, enjoy the campiness that Batman experienced years later, especially with the Adam West TV show. Um, so, I guess, but I, like anything, I enjoy all eras of whatever I'm passionate about, whether it be music or superheroes. This is the Bronze Age, the 70s through the mid-80s. Times are changing, and so is Batman. The hero reclaimed his relevance during an artistic explosion. And I don't know if any of you have read them, but they actually have a comic book series. It came out in 2021. I guess it's still continuing. I'm not sure. I haven't seen a new issue in a while. But it's Batman 89, so it's basically a, a comic book series in the vein of, com of uh, Batman 1989, which is very cool. Arkham Asylum, definitely recommend checking that out if you haven't already read it. I think there's five or six issues. The Dark Age, the 80s, mid 80s through 2010. Superhero comics earned new respect by appealing to adults and Batman reclaimed his dangerous edge. That's a great point, right? When Batman 1989 came out, I'd say it was targeted toward adults, but also children. And then things got super campy, right? You had like Batman and Robin, and that was terrible. Um, and then around this time period, you got back to Hulu. You know, the comics got darker. Christopher Nolan got, you know, with kind of returned Batman to his roots, if you will. Uh, and then you had the Arkham Asylum video games. which were fantastic. The Killing Joke, all-time classic. Death in the Family. The Long Halloween. Falcone Crime Family. Birds of Prey. Hush. These are very popular, too. Lots of great stuff during this era of Batman, really. It's just incredible. Under the Red Hood. Batman and Superman. Batman and Son. So I'm telling you, I mean, like, there's every, no stone is left unturned in this book. Battle for the Cow. Return of Bruce Wayne. The Modern Age, 2010 and on. Batman was now a bigger star than ever and led to the relaunch of a new DC universe.
yeah, the original, so the 1989 Batman movie was pretty much what launched the modern era of super or comic book movies, right? If that movie wasn't a blockbuster success like it was, probably wouldn't be where we are now with this whole Marvel universe and uh, DC movies and all this stuff. I mean, it really kicked things off in a big way from a merchandising standpoint. And it was more than a movie, it was a phenomenon. And it's just incredible to see where we are today. Because Batman to me is the best, right? So it's awesome to see how he's still so relevant and popular. And how books like this come out in 2022 to celebrate all things Batman. Here's the index for those of you who might be curious, you know, what is referenced and what is not referenced. So check this out. So you can take a peek. I believe this is the last page of the index. So that's about 215, 216 pages. Holy cow. It's 216 pages of Batman, the ultimate guide from DK Publishing and DC. Yeah, there you have it. It's really an incredible book. Obviously, it's very much heavily focused on the comic books. Uh, but hey, that's where Batman came from. So I see nothing wrong with that. Um, there are plenty of books about the movies and TV shows and things like that. So um, this is a, a fantastic, one of the best Batman books I've ever seen. So if you're a big Batman nerd like myself, and you're looking for a new book to dive into or a great piece um, for your coffee table or just to crack open here and there to reference some element of the history of Batman. I mean, this is it. Plus, we're in August right now when I'm filming this, so we're heading into holiday season. It's coming up in the next few months. So if you want to get something for the Batman fan in your life, get a copy of this now. You can buy it on Amazon. I'll include a link below where you can buy it on Amazon um, for you know, I'm sure it's a discounted price, so you can snag a copy now, you know, and you'll be ready for Christmas or whatever holiday you want to share this book with that special someone in your life. You know, uh, do any of you already own this book? If so, what are your thoughts on it? Do any of you plan on buying it? You know, um, if so, you know, what about it is intriguing you to make that purchase? And lastly, are there any other Batman books you recommend? Um, that you think are just fantastic when it comes to chronicling the history of Batman. Um, also, you know, what do you love about Batman? Uh, I kind of gave you a glimpse of my thoughts on this character and why he stayed with me for so many years. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and this inside look at Batman The Ultimate Guide New Edition. Thanks so much for tuning in. Happy reading and have a great day.